Well, I'm not all that well, really. Why? What's the matter? Hangover. You all right, though? Oh, yeah, sure. Ever think of me? I don't need to think of you. Oh? I don't need to think of you. When? Well, I found out. That's what happened. I told her I'd found out, and then she confirmed the facts. When? Oh, a long time ago, Jerry. But we've seen each other a great deal over the last four years. We've had lunch. Never played squash, though. <sighs> you take it off. Can you just do it, please? I'm picking Charlotte up from school. I'm taking her shopping. You do realize this is an afternoon. It's the gallery's afternoon off. That's why I'm here. We close every Thursday afternoon. Can I have my key ring? Thanks. Listen. I think we've made absolutely the right decision. Oh, we'll make a date. Right. Yes, we must do that. And then I'll take you to lunch. No, 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 I'll take you to lunch. The man who wins buys the lunch. Can I watch? Hmm? What? Why can't I watch and then take you both to lunch? Well, to be brutally honest, we wouldn't actually want a woman around, would we, Jerry? much more to say on that subject, really, is there? What do you consider the subject to be? Betrayal? No, it isn't. Isn't it? What is it, then? I haven't finished it yet. I'll let you know. Well, do let me know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> on the day we were going, what about the gondolas? You can't take a gondola to Torcello. <laughs> well, they used to in the old days, didn't they? Before they had speed boats. How do you think they got over there? It would take hours. Yes, I suppose so. Mmm. Mm. And I got this bug. Oh, dear. So I've had time for nothing. Everything will be better now I'm back. Mm. Yes. He lives alone in a furnished room. Quite like this one, actually. <laughs> He's... I'm fast. Furnished rooms suit him? Yes. They suit me too. <laughs> and you? Do you still like it? Our home? It's marvellous not to have a telephone. And marvellous to have me. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? All the kids were running about and suddenly I, I picked Charlotte up and I, I lifted her high up, high up and then down and then up. Do you remember how she laughed? We all laughed. She was so light. And there was your husband and my wife and all the kids all standing and laughing in your kitchen. I can't get rid of it. It was in your kitchen, actually. <laughs> I sat on the grass and read Yates. Yates on Torcello? They went well together. Got a good nose and you care and I respect that in you. So does Emma. We often talk about it. How is that? Very well. You must come and have a drink sometime. She'd love to see you. Oh, well, good. <laughs> she has an admirer. Really? <laughs> Another doctor. He takes her for drinks. It's irritating. I mean, she says that's all there is to it. He likes her, she's fond of him, etc., etc. Perhaps that's what I find irritating. <laughs> I don't know exactly what's going on. Oh, why shouldn't she have an admirer? I have an admirer. Who? Uh, you, I think. Ha! <laughs> yes, I'm more than that. But I adore you. I adore you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Listen, I have to tell you something. What? I'm pregnant. It was why you were in America. It wasn't anyone else. It... It was my husband. Yes. 
Yes, of course. I must tell you, I want to tell you, I have to tell Please. you. Please! You're incredible. You're drunk. Nevertheless. <laughs> Jerry. I was best man at your wedding. I saw you in white. I watched you glide by in white. I wasn't in white. You know what should have happened? What? I should have had you in your white before the wedding. <laughs> I should have blackened you in your white wedding dress. Blackened you in your bridal dress before ushering you into your wedding as your best man. My husband's best man. Your best friend's best man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Your best man. I adore you. <laughs> I'm madly in love with you. I can't believe that what anyone is at this moment saying has ever happened, has ever happened. Nothing has ever happened. Nothing. This is the only thing that has ever happened. Your eyes kill me. I'm lost. You're wonderful. No. Yes. Your best friend is drunk. As you are, my best and oldest friend, and in the present instance, my host, I decided to take this opportunity to tell your wife how beautiful she is. Quite right. It is quite right to, to face up to the facts and to offer a token without blush. A token of one's unalloyed appreciation, no holds barred. Absolutely. And how wonderful for you that this is so, that this is the case, that her beauty is the case. Quite right. I speak as your oldest friend, your best man. You are, actually.